Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can sell your business and legally avoid paying the capital gains tax on the sale of the business the moment you turn around and sell it. You see, a few months ago, I ended up meeting with a dentist that was planning on selling his dental practice after 30 years. He was offered $3 million for it, and if he decides to go ahead and sell it, he would have to end up paying about $700,000 in capital gains tax. This essentially would leave him with only about $2.3 million in his hands. So he came to us because he wanted to figure out a way on how he can minimize his tax impact and if there were any strategies that he can implement. So after going through all of the different tax strategy options that we analyzed, we ended up structuring something called a deferred sales trust. And this is how it works. The first thing that we ended up doing is we ended up assigning the business to the new trust. It's called the Deferred Sales Trust, and it's normally set up through an entity called a Qualified Intermediary. You see, once the trust took ownership of the business, the business was now purchased by a new dental practice. But instead of the new dental practice giving the money directly to him, they gave the $3 million to this trust account with that Qualified Intermediary that you would need to hire. Now, once the trust received these funds, he had previously created a contract with that same qualified intermediary where the funds would now have to be distributed to the owner, in other words, the owner of the dental practice, over a 10-year period of time. Now, anyone can decide the length of it with that intermediary based on whatever you have in your contract. You just want to be very careful because if you distribute the funds over a shorter period of time, then this will trigger a larger capital gains tax when you receive the funds. You see, this allowed him to stretch out the capital gains on the sale of the business over a 10 year period rather than triggering capital gains on the sale of the business all from the day that he sold the business. So the great news is that once the funds go into the deferred sales trust, it can also be reinvested into other investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and rather than the $3 million just sitting inside a cash account earning practically nothing, he was able to get the funds still working and also get the money, but deferring the tax over a 10 year period. So essentially this strategy ended up saving him over the next 10 years, about $300,000 in taxes. Now, the most important thing is that you are discussing these types of strategies with your investment advisors, with your accountants and your attorneys, as they all need to be involved in the structuring of this. So if you know of a business owner or you have a property that you are planning on selling, this might be something that you wanna consider if you wanna lower the tax impact. So if you'd like to have a free 90 minute session with one of our wealth strategists on how you can go about implementing this, feel free to reach out. We'll talk to you next week.